Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. I took some time looking over the editing, looking over the footage while editing I should say, and I am sad to report I still have no clue. I really thought we were onto something when we climbed down and got over to that other door, but unfortunately that, that place was still locked. And there's really only so much we can do. We can press this button. There's nothing to interact with on this door. Let me just verify that there's really no buttons to press on these little floating ball things. There's a keyboard. One would think I could interact with it, but no. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that I must have just missed something on the floor here, like another dead body or something that's going to give us a hint. So I'm going to just like wander this area a little bit more and see if I can just find any other hints like laying on the ground here. Because that's stuck. We can't get in the front door. We can't get in the back door because both of them are out of power. We can't do anything in substation three because everything's out of power. The valves won't turn or anything. I don't see anything. And then, let me just confirm, I absolutely can't go up here, can I? Alright, actually, no, I'm definitely not supposed to go up here. That's not a thing. Um, we found that one dead body by the cliff, and she was talking to a friend. We didn't find her friend, though. We just found her. Maybe her friend fell into the abyss. Maybe her friend is the one by the front door. Where is she? There she is. I think her name was Emma. Emma Alvaro or something. And here's where we can climb down. I don't really want to do that again. And then, like, this looks like it should be something that you can interact with. But it's not. What about these, like, telephone poles? No. Let me go into this substation one more time. Um, I don't know. I'm really out of ideas at this point. Okay, so, to confirm, nothing in here works. Offline. Manual override. It says, before flashing, make sure to open valves to turn on the pump. Okay. I can't open the valves, though. I can't turn on the pump. And I can't pull the manual override. Okay guys, um, I'm back. Nothing worked out over here. Um, and I eventually just decided that I want to move on with the story um, and not be frustrated forever. So I looked it up and apparently the answer to our dilemma is actually in the substation. Um, and we just missed a button in there or something? We're gonna have to go and check. Um, but. I'm pretty sure we tried everything in there, so I don't... I don't know. But um, we're gonna go back to the station. We're gonna see if we missed anything. Because um, apparently there's a way to like drain the station or something using the manual override. So we're gonna go see if we can figure that out. I don't feel good about having to look up online how to do this, but sometimes we just have to do whatever we need to to make progress in this game because we were just running in circles there. Okay. We're missing a button. Is this the button? No. That's not the button. 
Is this the button? This is the button, isn't it? Flush. Before flushing, make sure to open the valves and turn on the pump. Okay, so... Oh, look at this. They turn now. And turn on the pump. And flush. Oh my gosh, guys. Finally, finally, finally. I've wasted so much time on this puzzle. I have to say this feels good. Okay. Now what did this actually do for us? It looks like it opened this top hatch. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I'm so relieved. Progress. Oh, and another dead body, of course. What? Please don't crumble. Okay, we can talk to Catherine. First, let's talk to this dead body. Wow, real insightful. I'm not getting anything. I can't read him like the others. That's strange. I can't read him like the others. Whoa! I didn't mean to take that off. Jesus. Uh oh. I don't want to mess with any of that. I bet you Catherine's gonna be able to help us here. Before we talk to Catherine, let's just briefly go up here. See if there's anything up here. The answer is no. All right, back down we go. Finally, I was just missing, starting to miss Catherine last episode. We'll get her back. Let's see what she has to say. Hi. Catherine. What? Huh, there you are. <laughs> what? Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's all you're gonna say? That's it? You got nothing? Catherine, we're relying on you. Good luck. Thanks. Excuse me? Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. <laughs> I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Good chat. Thank you for all the help. Is this still just static? Why can't I read this body? I don't think the game ever explained Not really. where we got our psychic powers from anyways. Catherine isn't any help. Alright. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? Oh, we're getting all this I don't think we could ever know. good questions. I have answer. my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. That's, that's interesting. So the WoW is bringing back all these robots and it's putting... Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. 
I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Wow. Very deep conversations. Um, every time I start this puzzle, Simon just keeps asking a new deep question. Um, okay, I'm guessing there's something to do with this, like, meter here. So that gives us a thing. Did we solve it? No, I think this is the default. Everything is on. We didn't really do anything. Do we need to turn everything off? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did that break? Uh-oh, I feel like I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I seem to be breaking this. Okay. There we go. What did that do? I don't get it. Is this like a maze? Like I want to find the shortest possible route over here to the edge without running out of bars? Because in that case, I can't go down here, so I'd have to go over. And I can't go down here, so I'd have to snake over like this and down here. Or I could go down. And over this way. Over. Over. Did we do it? Oh, the terminal just lit up. Hey! We did it. There's a terminal here and there's a terminal there. Let's see what the terminal here is. Black box status. What is the black box? Omicron crew status. Everyone's offline. I'm guessing that means everyone's dead. Okay. System updates. We'll check. No. Update enables black box to fail safe. I don't know what that means. Guys, I don't know what any of this means. I hope that's not supposed to mean something to me because otherwise I'm just completely missing it. And why is my vision going all fuzzy? Are we in danger? Radio buffer. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. We can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Come what are black boxes? It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. So that's how monitors you can your dead. body. Right. Yeah, that's you should you be able to data the mine dead. black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. So is that like our psychic power? There's some like device that people have that monitors their vitals and probably also their memories as well, I'm guessing, because that's what we're remembering is some of their memories. Omicron. Status quarantine. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Oh, that's probably what this terminal back here is. We want the Omicron. Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. 
Uh, that is so creepy. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? This is so suspicious. It knows we're looking and it wants us to get in. 4111. And our vision's going blurry. It's like we can feel like the wow is in here. 4111. What did we just unleash? Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Catherine, you're so short-sighted. What on earth just let us in? I thought WoW wasn't like a... Um... Wait, how do we get out? I thought... Sorry. Um... I thought WoW wasn't like an actual personality. Catherine said, oh, WoW isn't an actual personality. Like it doesn't, it doesn't think it's a person. It's more like an algorithm. So if that's the case, who's luring us in? Because that definitely felt like an intelligent mind. I'm liking this less and less. Has this guy always been here? I'm fucking open! And nobody's answering to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. You're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much higher have you guys got? 20 minutes. Tops. Hey, I'm in red! Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Strasky. It's because you're Why so wait, worked up. Right? Wasting all your I'm oxygen. I'm the master of my own fate. Wait, Stress, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, Strasky. <laughs> I honestly think I'd rather suffocate than drown. And also... Since when is this thing around? Okay, I could have sworn there was no dead body here and there was no friendly robot. And our vision's going fuzzy because we just let something out. I feel very uncomfortable now. What on earth is an Omicron? What have we done? Might be smart to go in the back way. But this feels like a very linear game, so I'm gonna assume that we only need to go in the back way if the front way doesn't work. So let's just try the front gate the front way and see if it works. It says it's unlocked. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are in for it. Did we just get locked in? Mechanical malfunction. Use alternate entrance. Thanks. Okay, so we need to use the alternate entrance, just as I expected. All right, back down we go. Is there a monster on the loose? I don't doesn't feel right about this. Somebody knew we were logging into the computer and trying to get in here and wanted us to come in. And 
everyone's dead, so it's gotta this be the wow. Be the right way. Good thing for us, we've already explored this plenty. We know where we're going. That didn't happen when we were climbing here the first time. Alright. Into Omicron we go! I'm nervous. Alright. Let's get the airlock. What monsters will await us in here? Is it gonna be more proxies? Is it gonna be... Those blue zombies with the glowing heads? Fantastic, it flushed. Let's find that suit and get out. This doesn't look great. I'm starting to think maybe it was quarantined for a reason. Diving suit. Let's find the diving suit and get out. Here. Please, give. Oh, don't make noise though. Okay, apparently that's not the diving suit we need. Okay. We've got more dead bodies. Let's see what these dead bodies have to say. They're black boxes. I'm paying attention. Okay, that guy must not have had his black box. That or something here is really interfering with our mind reading abilities. Okay, we have two ways to go. We can go left or we can go straight. I vote left. Never go straight. Straight's the way that's too obvious. <laughs> what? Why is my heart pounding? And what was making that noise? Oh god. What is up here? Are we safe? My vision's not going blurry. Let me guess, this is just gonna be static. Whoa. Whoa. Uncomfortable. What is this thing? This looks like a robot and a human. You know what? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. I have a feeling we're something related to that. Like half robot, half human. It failed with all these other guys. Stop! 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 What? What? Who? Who are you? I need to stop what? Stop the arc? Stop Catherine? Stop WoW? Stop trying to get down there? Stop moving forward? Jeez. I am very unsettled. Global lockdown active. Override at dive room co console. Dive room. Okay. Medical bay and dive storage. Here's the medical bay. We don't need to be in the medical bay. We need to be in the dive room. But let's check it out anyways. Because why not? I don't feel good about this. That's the first time somebody has talked to us. Besides Catherine. I mean, somebody like... Real. 
some of those other like delusional robots have talked to us, but that doesn't really count. I'm getting very sidetracked. We were trying to go to the dive room, and here I am just in the medical bay. Attention, clear, stand clear. Door opens and closes automatically. Why couldn't we just have the lights stay on? Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Catherine? I'm gonna plug you in. I see a spot for you. Hi, Catherine. What's going on? Uh, is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. <laughs> I hope it's not the Amidor falling apart. Is this station rivalry okay, I'm hearing? Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to <laughs> transfer your mind into a new body. Don't call us an idiot. Well, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. I don't know why Simon's so attached to his body. We just got this new body, like, a few hours ago? A few days? I don't know how the passage of time is supposed to work in this game, but... Point is, not very long. What's the point of... What's the big deal, switching into a new body? Hey, look. Catherine's all dressed up in her special dive suit. All right, safety, what are you power usage. For? Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Excuse me, Catherine. We're in no rush, and I want to read the safety before I put on anything. Okay. Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damages. Starting with the legs, fix parts onto your harness. Tap the secure button to your arm piece. The suit will then start to equalize pressure. If the suit does not seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning. There are any power suits left. They should be in the lockers. Okay. I got it, Catherine. I just kind of wanted to read what's on the table. ARC team checklist. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the ARC. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane. Operator ready. Omicron standing by for pickups in two days. All right. All right, Catherine, don't tell us to go get one in the locker. I got it. Look, all these lockers say nothing in it except for this one. D is our one. This is going to be us. Oh, my God. There was a person in the suit. I found suit. one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. Don't say this is gonna work in our favor. Are we just gonna transfer our mind into this power suit with a dead body inside it? That is so disgusting. What did she say? See if we can do what? See if we can power it up in the terminal. Okay. Hiramatsu power suit. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 to negative 75 degrees while keeping a steady 40 default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one atmosphere up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings on the locks 
that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wear through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to a specific personnel, but as default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wear with the safest experience. Great. HPS tracking. Okay, so there's one at Omicron, there's one at the climber station, and there's one at Tau. Where this is the one at Omicron. Alright. Pod D was it, right? Was D or E? Air found exactly suit. Don't Attention worry about just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead column, image and read. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. What was that? Oh, she opened that door up for us. Okay, so to be clear, we are. Cur I didn't kind of fully soak this up the first time we got this information, but we are a dead body inside a suit. And the suit is just walking itself around with the dead body inside. And we're gonna transfer ourselves into another dead body inside a suit. This dead body with no head. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. I think this takes us outside to the elevator. So I think the way to go is back this way where we came from. And I'm gonna start sneaking around again because we were barely Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Clearly warned to stop it by some guy. That might be the wow telling us to stop it. Stop what? I don't know. Here's the medical lab. We can go back into the hall. Olive room. Storage. I bet you we can find some of the things we need in storage. If there's one thing, one place to find something, it's gonna be stored in storage. But of course that would be too easy, wouldn't it? No, God forbid we find find things that we actually need in storage. Okay. That was too good to be true. So, if we go back to the main room, there was like two doors we could go in. We could go straight or we could go left. And we went left this time, so let's go straight this time. Hey, this has power now. Omicron lockdown. We're in containment one. We just went down this hallway right here into the infirmary and the deep diving prep room. So let's go back out here. Let's see where else we can go. We might need to override a lockdown. Not exactly sure. Clean room. What? Why does it do that? What? Is there something in here with me? Because I'm not having it. It's not beneath, is it? 
Oh my gosh, I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, it's trying to override the lockdown. In the power room, there's a system overload. What? This is a crazy puzzle. What is this doing? Do I need to connect every single? I think I need to connect every single box, so if I go... Like this... We removed a lockdown. Is that a good thing that I removed the lockdown? I don't know if that's a good thing. <sighs> Clean room. Ah, let's get an air bath, an air shower. see anything dangerous in here. Let's see. Why is everything headless? What is happening to the heads? What is removing these people's heads? That is so wrong. What? What are we looking at? I don't... Cheap previous results, circuit, less than ideal, setup, split circuit board, structure gel, test formula. Okay, so there must be structure gel in here. Status. Gel uncalibrated. Okay, how do we calibrate it? Method, structure gel as connector and interface between energy PAL, S.3 organic tissue. Never seen something of that speed. Guys, this is, this is jargon. This is meaningless to me. Oh my gosh, they put a robot they made a cyborg rat. That makes me uncomfortable. Why does it keep doing that to us? Connectivity. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act efficiently. However, the modifications that WoW has made to the gel are full from extra informant that doesn't necessarily make sense. Are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. So structure gel is something that makes machines run more efficiently, but WoW has corrupted it or something, so we need to uncalibrate it and get rid of the bad code. Pathology. Apply gel to dead mouse. That must have been what we saw the picture to. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put in the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Oh my gosh. Do we really want to mess with this? I don't want to turn into a killer, killer mouse. 
Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel and hardened with it. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. The result was impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-link gel with the aligned graphing in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout the Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WOW simply uses it in ways that we would never ever have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WOW via structure gel. Okay, so the WoW is killing things and then putting structure gel in it to reanimate them and turn them into weird kind of undead robot creatures. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and then stricken by a cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It is difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing. But it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. So is that what all these monsters are? Are they just like structure structure gel gone wrong by the wow? Okay, this episode is getting a little long. Um, so I think once we're done exploring in this lab, we're going to call it Dispense Gel. What? What is this gonna do? So this weird cancerous growth stuff, that's the structure gel? Interesting. Uh, why can't anything just work in this game? Service required. Okay. We will service this in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, hopefully next episode we can get this um, deep sea elevator up and going. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm also less excited to find out what is waiting for us in the Omicron station. I feel very unsafe here. More so than any of the other places we've been. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.